coaching sort of chose me a little bit. I was playing um, amateur footy at, at my local club, Wembley Amateurs, in the in the A grade in Perth, and and the under 19s needed the coach, and and I was 26 or seven at the time, and someone said, ask ask Macca. So I started coaching under 19 amateurs um, a long time ago, and uh, and love I, I love coaching. I've found that I re I have I have a real um, enjoyment of um, of seeing people do well and, and the athletes, uh, you know, working with them individually and forming relationships and bonds and and just watching people do well, it's um, it's a really great feeling. So um, I just fell into it and, and followed my nose and, and been fortunate enough to end up where I end up. I think what happens as a coach is, you know, you start out a certain way, you know, whether it's the way you are as a person or how you've trained or how you are in business, you're a certain way. Um, and that you know that can sometimes be your identity, but I think as you go, you, you start to learn more about yourself and how important it is to treat each athlete individually. I think you become better at that. Um, so you see the whole picture, but then you also you also get better at dealing with the individuals. So I think that's probably been the big big thing for me is is um, you know realising the importance of the individual and being able to tap into that and build those relationships. Uh, as a young coach, um, you, you tend to battle around on your own hoping that you're doing a good job. Uh, Rob Wiley got me from a young age. Rob was a hero of mine as a kid. Played in my local uh, waffle club, played in the 1980 Premiership for Richmond, so I'm going back a few years, but he, he sort of, again, got me on the right path of being organised and, and structured and, and just probably opened my eyes to another level of coaching. He was fantastic. And then from there, I was fortunate enough to spend some time with, um, when I got to, to Claremont in the waffle system, uh, Phil Walsh was a guy that um, I was lucky enough to spend some time with. Um, incredibly hard working coach, diligent, professional, uh, tactically very sound. So um, I used him as a mentor for a year or so. And then in the senior role at uh, Claremont, I had Don Pike as a, as a mentor. And he was um, very helpful um, to me, not just in, not just from a tactical point of view. And you know, they all, all play the game at a higher level than me. So their knowledge has always been Good to lean on, but as much, Pikey was as much about managing people and, and systems and structures, and you know managing up and managing down, and and uh, he was just he was a great great resource for me. Yeah, well done, Dara. Yeah, yeah. No, I was happy with all that offense. Good. I'm the senior midfield coach, so it's my responsibility to come up with our stoppage structure and set ups and roles. Um, you know, there's a, a pretty good foundation's been laid by Adam Kingsley the last few years, so we haven't really changed a lot, we've probably tinkered with a couple of little structural changes or, or additions, but generally very similar. Um, and then it's, then it's coaching the fundamentals of, of the stoppages, um, which, are, which are the most important. I mean, the structures are good to have, and they give you an opportunity, to, a good starting point to play, but then it's the, it's the work that has to be done to, um, to execute. Within that, I've got uh, players that I need to look after. And it's up to us to uh, our responsibility to help those players improve individually. So Turtle um, and I have worked pretty closely together the last few years, and the, the influence, the main influence he's had on me is preparation, being organised. Um, we're two very different people. Um, he um, is very methodical, um, and his his approach to uh, professionalism is second to none. So I've taken a fair bit of that from him and tried to improve myself in that area. Uh, I'm, I'm probably naturally a bit more of a people's person than him, so that side of things comes a bit easier to me. Um, whereas the, the stuff that he's elite at, I, I've had to work on. Um, so just from a, from a professionalism point of view, he's um, shown me new levels in preparation and that's what I've tried to get to. You know, I was coaching A grade amateurs at 28, you know, so I was coaching guys older than me. I, I had to develop areas in myself. I had to learn to stand up in front of people at a young age and talk in front of groups and it sort of forced me to grow up and mature in certain areas but no I didn't think it would lead to where I am now and um, you know I've got a pretty simple philosophy I just try and get in and do the best job I can and make sure I leave the job better than I found it so whoever takes this next job for me hopefully they walk into a, a really good midfield that they can they can continue to build on.